Hey everyone, it's JJ here for Filmora, here to empower your inner video creator, and welcome to episode 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, of You Ask, We Answer, a series where we answer the questions that you leave us in the comments section of our videos. So the last video, a lot of people were saying that my jokes are pretty corny. So you know what? Today, no jokes. All serious. I'm just kidding. That's not how we do things here. So let's get started. First question. All right, so first question is from Husani Yusuf. Hey JJ, how do you do a zoom in from space to a location effect? This must have options. Okay, so interesting effect. Um, I think it can be done in Filmora with our warp zoom transition. So let me just go ahead and show you that right now. So add your space video clip and your location clip to your timeline. And what you can do is in the transition library under the warp category, you'll find the zoom transitions. Warp Zoom 3 is a really cool effect where it zooms right in and transitions into the next clip, which gives the illusion of zooming into a location. So just add this transition between your clip and you're done. Simple, All right? Let's get into the next question. So this is from Ethan Animates. Hello. Just a silly question. Can you rub your stomach and tap your head while jumping around? If you can and it's too easy, then try doing it while spinning around three times. What is, what is this question? Making me exercise. Um, okay, so rub your stomach, tap your head. There you go. I did it. I'm a little dizzy, but I did it. Good job. All right. Next question. <laughs> so this is from Crystal Conky. Okay, probably a dumb question, but can I use Filmora on more than one computer, desktop and Microsoft Surface Pro, if I buy the lifetime subscription? Thank you for your time. All right, so there are no such thing as a dumb question, so thank you for asking. Um, so a personal lifetime license for Filmora can be used on only one desktop at a time. So if you buy a lifetime license, you'll only be able to use it on one desktop, um, at a time, unless you buy a volume license. Okay, so I hope that answered your question. Thanks for asking. So our next question is from Ayush VJ. Hey there, hello. Can you guys add instrumental music in the next update? Hope you will reply. Oh, well, guess what? We are replying right now. And thank you for your suggestion. So if you didn't already know, Filmora has a whole bunch of music that you can include in your videos in the music library. However, there is a way that you could import your own music as well. So even if we don't have a song that you like, for example, if you want an instrumental song, you could import it right into Filmora. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So if you don't like any of the music available, or if you want to use your own, you can import music by clicking on the music library and scrolling all the way down to the button that says import music. You can then find and choose the music you wish to add in your video through your desktop. You can find all the music you import in the my music folder. So this question is from Nolan's Comedy. Motion tracking, question mark, question mark, question mark. All right, so we already addressed motion tracking in episode three of You Ask, We Answer, so make sure you check that out. But we also have a motion tracking hack that you can actually do in Filmora that Matt goes into in our Star Wars tutorial as well. So if you wanna check that out, I will link it in the description section below and you can go ahead and check out that video if you wanna try motion tracking in Filmora. Okay. So this question is from Siberian X Gamers. How to add effects with music, for example, there's a fade transition but doesn't have any fading sound. So how do I do it? By the way, you're doing great. Oh, thanks. So to fade music, there is a trick that you can do and we actually go into this in another video in our help series. So I will link that video in the description box below and you can go ahead and check that out to see how you can fade in and out of audio. Okay. Oh. <laughs> this question is from Tech Flips by Yadu. Which is the mic you are using now? Oh, so our mic is right over here that you can't see in frame. You're wondering about that. So many of you have been asking about the different gear that we've been using for our videos, whether it's cameras, mics, lights, all that stuff. So I'll be listing all the gear that we use in our videos in the description box below, as well as links to where you can find them. So if you wanna know what gear that we are using, go ahead and check that out in the description. All right? Next question. All right, so this question is from Joel H. 
in how many weeks or months can we expect a new update to Filmora? So, I know that you guys have been asking this question and all of your cries and questions have not been unheard. So, our team has been working on the next big update for Filmora and it's projected to be released by the end of this year. I know that seems like a long time, but we are upgrading the entire Filmora editing experience and it's going to be awesome. So make sure to stay in tune for that, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to ask us more questions. So if you want them to be featured in our next episode, make sure to ask them in the comment section of this video. Also, make sure to check out the other You Ask Me Answers, one, two, three, and four, to see if we've answered the questions that you wanna know. All right, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel because we'll be uploading our other tutorials every single week. All right, so I'll see you guys in our next video.